All right, good morning, good morning. What's going on, YouTube? So, I got my Civic going again. I had a problem the other week. The car kept running hot, and uh, I did a few things to it. You know, I really didn't know what to do at first because it ran hot, so I figured thermostat. Well, when I took out the thermostat housing, what's no thermostat? So I'm like, damn, you know, people say you can run your car without thermostat. I said, I wouldn't. I mean, that regulates, you know, your antifreeze through your engine. So I told one guy, like, nah, I'm gonna put a thermostat in. So I put one in and I made the mistake, the car still ran hot. <laughs> I'm like, damn, so what's wrong with it now? So I changed the thermostat. Um, I can't forget, I always forget the thing inside your, your um, your dash that thing's a pain in the ass to change i had to take the whole dash out to get to this thing uh and the little heat temperature on the plug on the engine and the one that's on the thermostat housing so i changed those out it was running hot all right let me uh let me go run my little game real quick hold on all right as i was saying i changed all these things out and the car kept on heating up so i found out later on my dumb butt is when I changed the thermostat, the place I got the thermostat from did not have the OE one, so I didn't care. I said, well, just give me the 195 or 190 something in the temperature. And again, my knucklehead itself wasn't thinking. So once I got that 190 thermostat in, um, I didn't think twice about it. I didn't think that that temperature would um, actually really make a difference. It does. I was like, wow. So I found out that in the Civic, the exact one or the OE one was actually, um, get the, car front of the OE one was 172. So I'm running 15 something, you know, degrees over temperature and the car started running, running hot. Let me get this off of here real quick. I'm oh, sorry. So the car, ran crazy it, it didn't run crazy hot it ran hot enough so let me uh, get out the car real quick because it is dark back here for some odd reason um it ran you know it, it ran hot so what i did is i uh, went back and bought the oe one so when you see that oe thing for certain cars or like i said the thermostat i have is uh an exact exact stat so I got the exact thermostat for it. So I'm happy now that I was able to, you know, get get that fixed. And this thing is a, a work in progress. Uh, I still have a racing seat to put in. Um, I did get my air condition delete took care of. Uh, it looks really cool now. It's more space in there. And I actually got to drive it today to work. So hmm. I'm going to head into work, film the car real quick, and then I'm gone. Okay, like I said, it's a work in progress. This is my little beater that I drive, you know, sometimes, but it's been down for like like a week because I couldn't figure out, you know, why the temperature kept heating up on it. So uh, it's not nothing much, but I will say this. I went to a car show. Yeah, hold on, I'll hold that thought. Hold on. Yeah, I went to a car show and I felt totally out of place, man. I mean, most of the cars that were at a car show, you know, they are exactly that. They're car, they're, there's cars for show. Um, some of these guys, they would say, you know, this is my daily, so I have to put this on it or do that too, which was fine. I have no problem with that. But uh, most of the cars there, God, my car just wasn't, hold on. One second. You know, my car just was not a, um, It, it just was not, it just didn't make the par. That's what I feel. And I feel so out of place because I don't want a car that is a car that you have to, um, hold on, that you have to have for show. I I want a car that's kind of like a, a project where I can fight with it and do things to it. That's kind of what I wanted, you know, and I have a good time with project cars and Doing project cars, I'm not talking about the ones you do projects where you make the car look so good that at the end of the day you can eat off of it. 
I'm talking about a hardcore pieces out of the junkyard type, you know, car where you had to really work on it. And um, most of the stuff off the car that I have now, it is, it's, um, it's raggedy. And I actually like it like that. So I find myself now debating if I'm ever gonna go back to any car shows or just go just to enjoy, you know, other people's cars. Cause let me tell you, my cars did, it was just like, do I even belong here, you know? So I felt really weird, man, like at a show with guys that got $2,000 exhausts and my car don't even cost $2,000. That's what I was like, wow. My car only cost probably about, I think that one was seven. I, I might have put maybe three, four hundred dollars into that car. Only other thing I want now is I found a brand new starter on a car that I want now. Uh, heavy starch and bags. Uh, I want this one car. I actually want it because uh, the starter. I found a brand new stinking starter and I want that starter. So I might go and uh, pull that thing out, just put it away. And a lot of times I pull parts. I learned how to, um, I learned how to do them. You know, it's kind of like the junkyard is your, your classroom, all right? Well, this is all I want to do this morning, just something short. I will post this thing later sometime. And uh, you guys have a good one. Keep tuning. Um, I'm looking for, I might start my own club and just call it Rats R Us. If your car ain't ratty, then you can't be around us. I just want a ratty, a ratty crew, a bunch of guys that work on cars that are not more or less like, they're daily, but just raggedy cars. All right, just my thoughts. Talk to you later. All right, what's going on, guys? Um, out cruising home from work. Um, I got the Civic running again. Uh, like I said this morning, it was weird. It ran hot. I couldn't figure out, you know, why it was running hot. And come to find out, it didn't even have a thermostat in it. Uh, some people say you can run your car without a thermostat. Um, I am one of those believers that you should not. Uh, that thing, that regulates your your antifreeze through your engine. I don't care what nobody says. Um, I messed up the first time, and because they didn't have the OE one, I said, forget it, I just want to put one in because I like driving the car, that uh, I put a 194 degree one in, and it like ran my car 15 degrees. Now that little 15 degrees might not be a lot to some, but to your car it is. So I found the 172 that goes with the B, B16Y7 or something. That's the Accord Engineer because it's not, I think it's a non VTEC. Um, it's running perfectly fine. So I'm going to drive it and see, you know, what she does for the next couple of days. The temperature goes up, but it goes right back down. So, you know, that's the exact one. Um, I need to do a valve adjustment because I hear the valves clattering. And someone's like, well, that's because they're old. I said, yeah, but also the guy did the, uh, head gasket and time you have water pump, you gotta adjust all that. So I don't have the tools, so I'm gonna get one probably the next day or so. Um, I told you I have fun driving these and I like trying to figure out what's wrong with them when something goes wrong with them. My cord is running fine. I need to get a uh, no two sensor. The one thing I hate in the junkyard is they cut off those Cadillac inverters and they don't keep the O2 sensors. I think that sucks. But uh, for right now, she's running fine, and uh, I can't complain. So I'll probably do some filming of me driving, and then that'll be it for this day. All right, guys. Driving on those Cincinnati roads. It's gorgeous out today, too. So you know the 4th of July is coming. If it's nice like this, it's going to be fireworks everywhere. What I need to do is find me another um, phone thing, because this one's fine, but it's real flimsy. I got it because I didn't have much money. It was only five bucks, so I ain't gonna complain, you know, about five bucks. Well, I told you once before, I've actually learned to enjoy Cincinnati much more now. You know, at one time, I used to, you know, hate Cincinnati, but now I love driving through Cincinnati. Um, I like um, just the streets. I like the areas. Uh, I, I am watching stuff being redid now. It's blowing my mind, but I love going to White Castle, getting me a couple fish sandwiches or some chicken sandwiches, and then heading home. That's the fun of it. So, so far, so good. 
I'll keep you guys updated because uh, I am going to try to put my racing seat in this weekend and hopefully um, and, uh, do a couple of things. I do want to cover the, I want to paint the valve cover. You know, one of the first things I did when I had my first um, import car, I actually uh, did the valve cover. So that's coming next. So I'm going to drive home and see, you know, what this car does and I'll keep you posted if anything changes. All right, guys, be safe. Keep tuning and tune for yourself. Don't tune like everybody else. I, I don't mind having a nice looking car, but I don't want my shit looking like yours. I'm out, guys. Keep shooting for the spotlight. All right, I think I'll do one more before I stop for the day. Um, I was talking earlier and my phone got interrupted, but I was gonna do my, the first thing I used to like to do was a valve cover, second was wheels, third was stickers. Um, now I didn't get deeper into stuff like exhaust and you know, suspensions and all that, but I wanted to throw this out. There's a channel, I think it's called Gas Kings. I don't, everybody can do what they want to do. I have no problem with um, people with their sites or, or YouTube channels, but the one thing I despise is anybody making fun of anybody's cars. I don't really care, you know. Um, the one thing I notice is everybody has a different taste and a different eye. So I don't make fun of people's stuff because one time you were there. So just wanted to bring you back and tell people, you know that one time you put a, a, a silver tip on, hold on. You know at one time you uh, put a chrome tip on your exhaust and you found out what those fart cans were. Instead of calling fart cans, those were just exhaust tips. So, you know, I always tell people, you might see something that you don't like, but it's supposed to be for them. So I don't too much get on people or make fun of people when they do stuff. Uh, the one thing I get tired of seeing, it's the same old stuff. You know, I got sick with a V18. Now, what I like is when they show the guys putting them things on the track. Um, there was one guy, I think he's on Hey, whatever that state channel is. I hate that he doesn't drive a Civic no more. That car, I love that car so much, man. Um, I know you can move on to other things, but I love that car. I would love to buy it from him if he would uh, sell it, but he's never um, said he was interested in selling it. So um, I love seeing guys put their cars on the track. And I'm talking about the ones that work on them, put the exhaust on them, you know, do everything to them. Um, I love to see that stuff, but I hate the people who talk down on stuff they hate. I was like, if you hate it, that's cool. Just say, it's not my um, cup of tea. And that's it. But uh, that was just my little gripe. Um, I love the way this one sounds. I'm still gonna put a car can on it, as they call it. And um, I'm gonna keep doing what I like doing. So to all out there, keep doing what you like doing. This is Will from Bolsa America. I'm out. You shoot for the spotlight, guys.